Senior Paul Sack, Hawazi Daipi, chairs a national tripartite committee or TRICOM on work life strategy to oversee initiatives to encourage and help employers implement flexible work arrangements. The TRICOM has been working with the Employer Alliance under the Singapore National Employers Federation or SNEF to organize more fora and dialogue sessions to share effective work life practices amongst employers. The Employer Alliance is enhancing its work life toolkit and developing more case studies to better help employers recognize the value of enabling work-life harmony for their workers and at the same time to implement flexible work-life strategies. This year, the TRICOM is also organizing the Work-Life Excellence Award to showcase employers who have put in place good work-life practices and to encourage others to follow suit. And many of these practices are indeed practical and replicable across many of the companies. We are heartened that more employers are now offering work-life arrangements to their employees. For example, in 2010, 35% of establishments offered at least one form of work-life arrangement to their employees, which is up from 25% in 2007. And we do foresee that this trend would probably continue. As the largest employer in Singapore, the public service is taking the lead in offering flexible work arrangements to its offices. There are various schemes to help public officers better balance their work and personal needs, which can include looking after their parents, young children or dependents. Many agencies have both flexi-time and flexi-place practices that gives officers options in terms of how they carry out work alongside their personal needs. The option of a reduced hour work week is also available to officers who are not able to take on a full workload due to their personal commitments. These flexible working arrangements complement the range of childcare and parental care leave that public officers can tap on for the caregiving responsibilities. The public service has also leveraged its work-life network to build a culture of workplace flexibility. The network meets regularly to share good practices and has forums and learning journeys to enhance capability in the area of flexible workspace. In addition, the public service also provides resources to educate individual officers and supervisors on the new ways of work and the responsibility and trust that needs to come about in order to implement flexible work practices successfully. The fact of the matter is flexible work arrangements can work and has worked, and we do encourage companies to take on board and to try these arrangements, and I think this would go a long way in engaging the workforce, at the same time encouraging more people to return to the workforce as well.